Welcome back to Somster Games, the place to find new strategy games, and today we're going to play the brand new DLC for Unity of Command 2 called The Desert Rats. And we're going to do our first scenario, a first offensive. I'm going to show you how to do it on normal difficulty, as you can see up here, and complete every single objective that's in there. As you can see, I already did it. Uh, let's first jump into the tactics window where I'll show you how to, how to do it and then we'll go to my specific scenario. Welcome to the rat tactics window and let me show you how to do the appearance offensive because I'm pretty excited for this one. So the first thing you have to do, you have to destroy the Julia division by turn two. This is this unit over here. You want to do it by using either faint attacks or suppressive fire and then just go in. It's not particularly difficult. What I have found interesting, but I'm not sure if this was a bug or if it's, that's okay, but I think it happened to me in other scenarios as well, is that if it says before turn two, but if you take it on turn two, it still gives you full points. I do it in the guide on turn one. Next thing you need to take over is Corsa. So in order to take over Corsa, you essentially want to out, out supply it. So it already starts by being out of supply and then you want to step here and here. They aren't particularly good at like resupplying Corsa, so you should be able to get them to at least have most of their steps suppressed or all of their steps suppressed and then sort of do an attack because you have quite a lot of time to take it by turn four. So round day you have to take by again out of supplying. So where do they get their supplies? Their supply hub is here in Blore and then there's one here in Duress. You don't actually need to care about Duress but that's where they sort of like supply ports are and then from there they'll play their supplies up. So what you want to do is you want to stand here and here to surround Saranda. You should be able to do this I think around turn three or four and then you can very nicely out of supply Saranda by turn seven. Um, after you take on Corsa, you want to move to forward towards Pogradek, and you also want to move closer towards Klisura, but you do not actually have to attack uh, Klisura, you just want to stand nearby. Uh, Pogradek shouldn't be particularly difficult, the unit that's protecting it isn't like too difficult, so it should be fairly fine. So you're going to be able to get to turn 7, where you essentially take over Surrounded by out of supplying them, taking over Corsa by out of supplying them, taking over Pogradek fairly simply, and standing here next to Klesura. At that point, you need to start focusing on a few things. First, you need to go around Klesura like this to out supply it. You need to go here and here to out of supply Himara and this you should be able to do by turn 8 or around 8 or 9 then you want to start focusing on moving here around Barat now you cannot out supply Vlore so Vlore, you're, we're going to talk about more in a minute, but essentially Barat, Klisur, and Halimar, you can all out-supply them. You don't have to wait till the units fully disappear, for, though for example, uh, you can with Barat, if you do it fast enough, you can just wait. But once uh, the, all the steps are suppressed, you'll get a really good odds, like 0, 2, 0, 3, so then you want to start taking those. Now, so at um, like turn, so you'll be able to take over these pretty easily. You just need to keep some units there to protect it, to, to make sure that they can sort of reconnect their supply but you don't actually have to attack you just want to kind of stand there and just wait till they essentially starve and then you can take over how do you take over Vlora though so a couple things uh you need to get your hqs really close to Vlora so i was able to get one more of my hqs here and the other hq somewhere here unfortunately because of the terrain they actually only were able to get the hq sort of area to this and they were unable to take control of this particular hex so um you won't and uh, so you won't be able to use anything like faint attack from this hex unfortunately if you could step over here it would be great in uh, so it's like one hex north of Laura. unfortunately for me i was only able to be able to be two hexes north of Laura, so there were two needs there so that was a bit uncomfortable but if you could get closer it would be better and what you're going to be doing is you're going to be using your faint attack so you have two different hq so you should be able to do it at least three four times maybe more depending on your movement you really want to be careful that you can move in with your units use the faint attacks and then move out so that someone else can move in you need to suppress enough steps so that they cannot resupply because remember they have resupply they can resupply themselves every single turn so you need to suppress enough steps and then do some attacks so that you can actually straight out kill somebody kill some steps because if you can't they will just resupply themselves so you want to use your airstrikes you want to use your faint attacks 
Set piece attack is typically not great because a because they're in a city or city in ruins. If your airstrike destroyed it, they will get they will the set piece attack will not do much damage, and also your units can't move out. So you only want to use set piece attacks as a last resort if it happens to have good odds and you don't need to move out. Otherwise, focus on feint attacks. The suppressive fire will typically also have quite bad odds, but there is a twenty five percent chance to lower their entrenchment which if they're going to be super entrenched is going to be could be useful but again i would consider it a last resort the faint attacks are better because they will always sort of suppress one of their steps and then you just want to start moving that in once you get all like one one or zero one that are a bit better all right i think that's all the chit chat i needed to do and now let's go into the scenario see you there all right welcome back from the tactics window and we're gonna go through the battle. We're gonna be playing in the history mode. And I will be honest with you, I made a really dumb choice about halfway through. And it did work out in the end. We got all the objective. That's, I mean, this is a guy, that's kind of how it has to go. But it was a really bad choice. But I, I didn't want to redo it. And I think, you know, sometimes it's nice to see that even, <clears throat> even if you make some bad choices, you can still make it happen. So. Let's start this off now. First thing, as I've told in the tactics window, is this DA Julia. You gotta destroy that unit because it's one of the objectives. And then the next thing you gotta focus on is course. So let me show you what I did. So with the Julia unit, what do you be I did is I used suppressive fire because it had really good odds. You could also use faint attack if your suppressive fire isn't as good. But the problem with faint attack is it will only suppress one of their uh units or steps while the suppressive attack suppresses multiple uh, if you don't know who i am by the way i make guides on a lot of the different scenarios in this game and how to do them on normal difficulty by completing every single objectives and if you don't want to get spoiled if you don't want to see uh, the actual sort of solutions for the scenarios feel free i have a guide on essentially anything in this game headquarters specialists, uh, supplies, everything you need to know about this game. I have a guide on that, so you can just check it out. There should be a link in the description, maybe at the end of this episode as well. Next thing, like I said, we want to start focusing on course a little bit. Again, you might want to use things like faint attack or suppressive fire. Make sure to check these odds. You don't necessarily want to use the set piece attack because typically the odds for that aren't that great because they're already entrenched and in a city, so it, you won't be able to do much damage. And also then you can move your units away, which can be sometimes problematic. So we're using uh, faint attacks and then we're just attacking where we can. So I'm having a bit of a problem with the replay. So uh, this is turn to beginning of turn two. So I can just talk to you through what I did. So we, like I said, we destroyed the unit, the DA Julia that was over here. We're moving, uh, we changed our supply hub. So you can see that I have two supplies up here and one supply hub up here. And I'm sort of trying to move around Corsa because they will keep Corsa unsupplied for one more turn, which will make this unit weak and will make it a little bit easier for us to attack them. And then here I'm trying to, I've also repaired a bridge over here and over here, unless that was already fixed, I'm not sure. And we're trying to move towards Saranda over here. So let me hit play. I've resupplied this unit. So this is an interesting trick in this particular scenario. Oftentimes you won't be able to get supply on your units. Actually, or specifically, you will have a supply, but as you can see, the supply here is really low. This is just like 50%. And that's because the total support for on this entire center is only 80%. So sometimes what you do is instead of straight up supplying a unit, if you keep a unit in range of your HQ, like this one was, when it was here, it was in range of this HQ. I could resupply it from the HQ and then move it to do stuff with it. So this is something we've been using quite often. Okay. Now you want to start moving towards Klusura, but you don't have to worry about Klusura anytime soon. And I'm trying to move here around because if I could step one step further, which I haven't been able to yet, but if I if I were to, it would be able to out of supply Corsa. But even the way Corsa looks right now, let me actually show it off to you. They actually don't have supply there, so you'll be able to, to destroy it pretty easily without taking uh, damage to your units. You could probably force it and take Corsa sooner, but you will take losses. So because of the fact that they can, they will remain out of supply, I recommend waiting it out because you have to turn two, so why hurry? 
And we also get new units to deploy it. Uh, you have till turn four, sorry, that's what I meant to say. I started on Clisuria. This was actually unnecessary. Um, you don't need to do that. You can just wait with Clisuria. This, was, this wasn't this was the best move on my part. I should have really just waited with Clisuria, but you know, you never really know. Okay, so again, we're doing the resupplying trick and this is super important. We moved over here, which means we now certainly out of supply, of course, uh, of course, if you could get there sooner, it would be great. It's turn three. They will be more out of supply by next turn than you could take them over. Or again, you could probably take them over at this point already. I'm using some faint attacks here, mostly because I have the points on my HQ, so why the hell not? And I wanted to see if maybe I could straight up kill them, but uh, I wasn't able to. Still, this Clissora thing, just don't, don't worry about it. It's, it's completely unnecessary. The thing about Surrounded, though, is do you do want to move forward. So this is actually quite important, because if you could take, again, one more step from where I'm right now, if you could stand here, here, I don't know if you can see that, you will be able to out of supply Surrounded. So this is important. Clissora, not important. And we're just deploying our new units. Uh, a very important is to move your HQs closer. You will end up at a point where you can't move them any closer, but at the beginning you want to make sure that it's they're as much in range of your units as possible because we do like to use the faint attacks and we do like to resupply our units because our hubs just not that they don't just reach that far essentially. And I'm sort of adding some infantry that I had available and some sort of engineer and other specialists. So just putting that in there. All right, at this point, it should be uh, once they finish its turn four. So we have to take Corsa this turn. But as you can see, this is a walk in the park now. Because they're out of supply. They've got nothing. We don't need to worry about Corsa at all. We do need to do the same thing with Surrounded because we got till turn seven. So we want to make sure that we're pushing and we're trying to get to that hex where this unit is. Just, just there. Okay, great, we killed them, so now we can move in, and now Saranda is out of supply, and because we have time till turn 7, we're going to be able to do that pretty easily. Corsa, um, is, at this point, is just a walk in the park. Nothing to worry about. Uh, Corsa gives you a supply hub card, which I will be using at some point. And then we're moving towards Pro Prograde. And moving the HQ, just what I said before, essentially. And I'm using some paint attack on Saranda because remember they can't resupply their steps, so um, you can suppress them, it can be useful. You do have to watch out though that sometimes in order to outsupply the enemy, you will also out be out of supplying yourself. For example, this unit actually it has a chance to get supplied, but sometimes that will happen. So just like watch out for your own supply, it's pretty important in this particular scenario. Now I moved forward here around because I wanted to see like what kind of enemies are there and etc. At this point I actually used to have a set piece attack which gave me some pretty good odds. So we did that and move our HQ forward. Now we're moving here to Helmari. Again, you don't have to hurry with Helmari. Just make sure you're surrounding Saranda and uh, getting ready to destroy it when you can. Which is going to be next turn, presumably. Uh, Klisura, as always, just completely ignore that. Unnecessary. Waste of time. Don't worry about it. Are we going by turn six? Now, at this point, let me just check. Yeah, we have to take credits on this turn. All right. So we're going to do that. They don't have particularly strong unit there. So like, it's not particularly difficult. Um, if we had more time, we could have out of supplied them, but we, we don't. So we do have to like kind of push forward at this point. And um, yeah, we did manage to let me just show you to. Yeah, we didn't. We, we out of supply this part here, but it's not particularly relevant. And uh, both Clisura and... Actually, Hlemari is out of supply right now, but it's not really relevant at this point. But uh, Clisura is, is out of supply, which is 
uh, sorry, not with sur Saran Desert, so that is important. Now this one we've got, we need to take Saran the next time, which is going to be easy. And then we have a lot of time for the rest of the stuff. And it's also where the dumb stuff is going to happen. So it's going to be pretty exciting. Took over a supply up over there. We can take over Saran no problem. This or next turn, really up to you. I had good odds, so I've done it now. But you can wait a turn if you need to. Uh, Healing Mario, don't attack that. Unnecessary waste of time. Don't do that. I mean, you can do it, but it's not super helpful. Uh, Klisura is out of supply here because... Let me actually pause and show it off. They're out of supply because we st stepped on their supply that they had over here. So they don't have a way to supply that right now, but they can fix it. I'm also moving my supply hubs around. Okay, now we have sort of surrounding Clisura, so we want to make sure that they will not get a supply hub for them there. This is really important, because so, you want to start sort of out of supplying them. Now, uh, this is where the dumb moves are going to begin. And that, first of all, I got super, I got, I did a, if you watch my guides, you know that using airstrikes on uh, cities is not recommended, but sometimes you're desperate. And I wasn't desperate here, but I've done it anyway, and I probably shouldn't have done it this early, but I did. Uh, the problem is when you make a city in ruins, it will give a much better defense to your defender. So I made it much harder for myself to get Vlore than if I maybe waited out a bit better. Vlore is also the only supply hub that they have aside from the rest, but the rest isn't that important. What I did here was I did a bit of a dumb move with this unit. I moved it around and then tried to move it to up top to see enemy units. It did help in the way that we stopped their supply from the rest, but it did also leave my unit super out of supply. And we could have out of supply Doris to different areas like from breaking this bridge or just moving through here where we would have had supply. So that was not the smartest move and it's going to cost me a lot as you're going to see soon. Now like I said we have a lot of time so we are unsupplying Klesura and Himare. At this point you got to watch out if you try to place supply you need to get yourself in good enough position so essentially for Himare you need to be here like ideally on this hex or something and for Klesura you would want to take over this hex eventually as well or this one. Make sure that any supply hubs don't have a range over there. But uh, the idea here is essentially out of supply Klisura, Limara, and Barat. We'll be able to do Barat soon. But you can out of supply Vlora. So Vlora is the one where we're going to have to use all of our powers, all of our tricks, everything to get there. I'm also moving my supply hubs. I'm just going to show you where it's at. Uh, you always want to make sure that your units are in supply. This is quite difficult in this scenario. You're going to be moving it around a lot. Also, I didn't always make the best choices, so maybe don't necessarily look at my supply and be like, this is how I should place them. I'm pretty sure there are better ways to place them. Um, I, I Like I said, I, I didn't do the best in there, but it, it didn't matter because it was still good enough. Yeah, so this is, I resupply this unit, but um, you don't really need it up there that much, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Okay, at this point we completed our supply to Limara and Klesura, so we're good on these two, and we're gonna get in around Birat soon. I'm trying, because I already did City in Rune, so at this point I can use my air sex and Voy however I want, uh, but they're switching to a different unit, which was slightly unfortunate. Voy is the difficult thing in this scenario, I would say. Everything else has been fairly okay if you know how to do it, but Voy is the, is, is the thing that's gonna sort of make or break your game, so to speak. If you're worried about objective, because I believe that Vlora is, Vlora is just an objective. Yeah, so we we destroyed the other enemies in Kusa. This is kind of important because I mean, actually, I probably didn't need to because I was I was standing there around here. But if I wanted to move my units away, if I kept this unit here, it could have moved back and gave them a supply. So that's why I was like, I'm gonna kill it because I don't necessarily want all these units here. The the AI is pretty like understanding of which objectives you want, so it's not going to just leave an objective just because like this unit isn't going to move away from Klesura so but the other unit would have moved away to get a better supply if it needed be like I said this was the I mean it was not like a completely dumb move because yeah it did sort of block the supply but I like I said we could have done it elsewhere we could have moved the unit this unit forward get a better supply than up here and this unit paid a very heavy price for that so I would just I wouldn't do it if I was you I just I just would no, hindsight's 2020, and in hindsight, nah. 
Yeah, again, I use some, you can use some attacks if they're good on like this and stuff, but you don't need to, you can really just wait. Uh, they're getting better entrenched in Vora, so yeah, Vora is like, City in Ruin, super entrenched, Vora is gonna be a nightmare, but everything else is like so, so cool, so I, I'm, I'm, I like this. Alright, Klesuria, are we taking Klesuria this time? It looks like we are, yeah. Uh, so we... Okay, yeah, this is actually pretty funny. So they walked away with retreat, and then they walked straight back, and I didn't have any more units to attack, so I had to wait one more turn, but you have uh, two more turns for Klesuria and one more for Himara, so you're fine. But uh, it, that was pretty funny because I was so excited. I was like, I'm going to get in. And then like, nope, you're not going to get in because they were treated straight back. <laughs> like, all right, that's, that's fine. This was like a 0-3 attack, so I just took it because why not? Now, at this point, I'm trying to save this poor lonely unit by moving it back. It's still not within the supply area, but it's going to get there next turn. So hopefully, and I'm trying to move some other stronger units there to protect it, but... Yeah, it's it, it was really bad. It's not much more I can say about it except it was bad. Again, more and more supply hub stuff and etc. Uh gonna be turn eleven. Yeah, they're gonna kill this unit. It's just it, it it was a damn move. What do you want me to say? You know, like I, I, I can't justify it. It's just bad. Like, but that's alright. I think I think it's good to see um, that you can make the, all the objectives even if you make moves like that. Well, let me know in the comments if, if you feel that way as well. Okay, we got the Sora. Uh, let me again just show you the stuff. So we have to get Himara this time. We had one more turn for Kasura and then Barad. As you notice, Barad is already out of supply. It's going to be very easy. We've got two turns to take it. They're going to be super out of supply, no problem. And Laura already talked about it. Don't need to repeat myself here. Uh, this is actually quite important. Pushing this unit away is going to be really cool because if they have too many units there, uh, it's going to be difficult to get there. Uh, what is the strategy for Vlory? I probably already said that in the in the beginning, but I want to say it here as well. Essentially, because they ha have, have a supply hub, they'll be able to resupply any suppressed steps you make them. And you can't really kill outright any step because you just don't have the stats. I don't have any engineers nearby. My engineers are up here, so I can't really do any good stuff either. So what we're going to be doing here is using our airstrike and using our uh, faint attacks to suppress, 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 until essentially all of their steps or maybe but one will be suppressed. And then you can do like one, one attacks and you're just going to have to take one, one attacks. Watch out with the one, one attacks that the uh, thing that you're going to be losing is not a specialist. So if you don't know how that works, I have a guide on that, but essentially this is determining the order in which your units will get killed or suppressed. And so you want to make sure that if it says 1-1, one, one, that the thing right here is just like this yellow circle and not a specialist like this. So you can, for example, see that here it's a little bit closer. The engineers are first. So if this unit is taking a 1-1, one, one, it's actually quite bad for you because it will be losing a specialist, which is important. Okay, so that's just how you can tell. Um, that sort of thing. I don't know if I should be this detailed, because this is a DLC, so I should be assuming that he played the base game, so I probably know all the details. But if anyone didn't know, let me know in the comments so I, so I know that it was good to tell you all these additional tips. Alright, we're at turn 12, which is a... is it... it's not a deadline for Barrett yet. No, it's one more turn. Uh, we step on the supply, which is important. We got over here, and now we're starting to do our sort of feigned attacks, uh, airstrikes, over and over. And you want to make sure, again, Look at the movement of your unit. You need to be able to move in and move out. Now, my HQ only has a range to this hex and not to this hex, which is why I'm not moving here and attacking, because I can't use my feint attack because I don't have a range. This HQ has a range to here and to here, so you want to use both of those to do attacks. Uh, but mostly we're going to be moving in and then you need to move out. you got to be really careful about that. Because if you uh, move in and you can't get out, all of the suppression you've done up to this point is pointless because they will just resupply themselves so or unsuppress themselves. So you really want to make sure that you hurt them enough that it actually matters. Okay. And now at this point, I've got some 1-1 one, one odds. Okay, so I was able to move in and get out. 
uh, moving to lawyer and they got out so this is so we got lawyer two terms early but again it, it really depends on like how well you move your units around and whether you can do enough damage with the feint attacks and stuff uh barat maybe we could do it this turn we can also wait till next turn we've got the time just to let them yeah we, 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 i chose to wait because why not um it's gonna be easier at, at this turn uh, i i think you have to take barat this turn yeah, it's, it's turn 13. yeah so you have to take it now i can't wait anymore but it's it's easy all right we did it all right well uh, i hope you enjoyed this if you did right now in the comments you can click on the right to watch the next scenario or click on the right bottom to watch the guides for this game and the additional tips i hope i'll see you there bye bye